Hey, 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 it's Blaze, and today we're going to be going over my animations that I do have on my post score. But first things first, if you're new to my channel, make sure you drop a like, subscribe down below. All support is appreciated. Also, I just want to take a second and thank you guys so much for all the recent love and support I've been getting as of late. Um, it does not go unnoticed, and I just want to tell you guys, thank you. Now, Let's get to the video. Okay, so now we are at the My Animation screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and come down here and show you guys the animations that I do have equipped. Um, so, for my dribble pull-ups and all this, I just kept it on default because, I mean, if it works, it works. I, mean, I, I, I never really implement moving jumpers. Even though I am a shot creator, I rarely even put it in there in the first place. But I will be going over my animations. So my post fade is fade two. Um, the reason why I use this is because a lot of times when I'm going for a post hot fade, if I notice that my opponent is kind of anticipating me to the hot fade, the way that you do guard my hot fade is that you pause and wait, and then you run and sprint and then try to go for a block. Um, so this hot fade allows me that they're going to be anticipating a hot fade. That's when I hit them with the post fade, and it allows for a much quicker and faster release before they realize that I am going for a regular post fade. Therefore, it's going to be wide open, it's going to be green all day. Um, and yeah, so that's why I use a post fade too, is because for one, it's the quickest. And for two, it's the easiest time. Now for my post hook, I do use post hook three. Um, that's because it's, for one, it's the quickest release. And also, it has the greatest separation off the shot. So a lot of the times, I do go into the paint, and then I will come right back out of a post hook. Um, so whenever I drive into the paint, if I notice that they're jumping on me, I go straight up the post hook, and it gives me, it goes off in the same amount of time to where it's seen as a wide open shot, and that's gonna be green every single time. And now for my post hop shot, my post hop shot is 8. Um, I know 10 is popular as well, but personally for me, post hop fade, uh, post hop shot 8 is the best for me personally. Um, and now keep in mind, this does kind of be a difference between if you have silver, silver difficult shots or a hall of fame difficult shots. Because as you, as you can see here, with this post hop shot 8, um, the separation is very big, so if you have Hall of Fame difficult shots, it's not going to be a problem. Gold is not going to be a problem as well, but if you are not a primary post-scoring build, it's going to be difficult for you to hit these shots, because like I said previously, the space created is just too big to recover from. Um, if you do have silver difficult shots, um, one thing that I will recommend for you is going to be post hop shots. Let me see if we can find it here. It's going to be post hop shot too. Um, this is because the separation that's that's created is not too big. So if your difficult shot's only on silver, you're still going to be able to create that shot off the dribble, and it's still going to be effective. Because whereas on post hop shot eight, where it brings you straight backwards, post hop shot two just brings you from left to right and right to left, so it's a horizontal shot. So the difference created is not going to be that much of a major difference. For my shimmy fade, my shimmy fade is a shimmy fade 10. Um, this is mostly because it's the quickest shimmy, and it goes straight out to the shot. So like if it's if, it, if your shimmy fade looks too dramatic, they're gonna tell that you're 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 about to do a move, and they're gonna anticipate the fade. Cause not many people do a shimmy fade hook, um, but this is really good for an up and under move. So if you realize that your opponent's anticipating you to go for a hop fade or post fade every single time, you hit them with a shimmy fade. They jump for the fade, you go right up, and then you go right under for the easy lay. Now for my post shimmy hook, I do use a shimmy hook too. Um, just because it's, it's the quickest release and it goes up immediately. Because a lot of times, I'm never really trying to do a shimmy hook. But if it does happen, it does have a quick release and it's the same thing as doing a post hook. I hope you guys enjoyed that video for today. It was a quick and short one because most of the time, I know you guys are just looking for the animations, you're trying to equip it, trying to get on your player as fast as possible, and just get out of the video. So I made it nice, quick, and sweet, and sexy, and fabulous. Um, capture the flag. Huh. That's gonna be interesting. Um, anyway, um, I wanna take a second and just let you guys know that I will not be around from the 22nd to the 24th because I will be celebrating Thanksgiving with my family in Nashville, Tennessee. Hashtag Music City. Hashtag Guitar Music All Day. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, I'll be there doing that. And I just wanna take a moment and just kind of like, this will be my, this will be my last video for, for Thanksgiving. I just wanna take a moment and say, and wish you guys a wonderful Thanksgiving. 
Um, maybe if you're going out to the time of family, you're going to be by yourself um, on your own, going out somewhere to eat. I hope it's very filling because they all be, you're going to eat a lot. I know that some of you are not in the right predicament to where you actually have family or have people to celebrate Thanksgiving with. So I just want to let you guys know that, you know, at least have one person out there that does recognize that and does wish you guys a very happy Thanksgiving. So as always, good day, adios, and good night. Peace, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day.